I pretended to be a man when I sold my truck and I got thousands of more dollars. Go figure. So I, I, I tried to sell my truck on Facebook Marketplace, but it never occurred to me that my photo and my name might cause discrimination. <laughs> How many times do I have to learn this lesson? So I had a, a, a 95 Toyota Tacoma. That truck doesn't lose value. I lived in that truck for years. I drove across the car. I, I put so much wear and tear on that truck, but it is one of the most popular trucks uh, of all time, especially in like the outdoors worlds. Like a lot of people lived in their truck. Like 31 inch tires, a bed built in the back, uh, you know, a rack on top. I knew someone would really want this truck, right? Despite all the wear and tear, it had like a new, like a, a newer engine, new timing belt, like all that stuff, right? And these things don't die. There's, there's YouTube videos about how you can't kill an old Twitter Tacoma. But on Facebook Marketplace, do you know a bunch of men were like, I'll give you a thousand. Uh, someone was like, two thousand tops. That's not worth any more than that. And then when I tried to argue with them, they'd be like, well, like of course, of course. They would insult me and they assume, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a stupid girl. So I went on to Craigslist and instead of saying, calling myself Melanie, I said Mel. And I wrote very, you know, none of the flowery language is like, hey, maybe you like that. I mean, I'm not only like a woman raised under patriarchy, I'm also a Southern woman. So I still like soften things all the time, which is actually a very good skill, but not when you're selling stuff to men. Do you know what? I had men fighting in a bidding war over my truck and they all assumed I was a man, because they'd be like, hey bro, blah, blah, blah. Because the truck itself was very manly. My big old tires. But are you licking my jeans? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, see baby. Anyway, um, very respectful. And I think I sold the truck for, it was at least 6,000, if not more. Facebook Marketplace, 1,000, I think 2,000 tops, but with like an attitude. Craigslist, as a man, over six grand. Easy peasy. I'm talking about this because, you know, we talk about the pink tax all the time but it has so many faces. Let's not, let's not even consider, you know, all the money I've spent on like trauma from men, especially schmegual trauma and healing from that. Or, you know, all the missed opportunities because I'm hiding from an abusive man. But even selling your car, your car, thousands of dollars. Ugh.